Hey Sagittarius, it's Empress Rose here. <clears throat> Welcome to your reading. These are general readings, so take what works, leave what doesn't, as with everything in life. If I don't catch your wavelength here, check your other major placements. We're going to start with the Oracle decks, um, Work Your Light and Irving Crow, and then we're going to move on to the Tarot of Mystical Moments for a more traditional tarot spread. If you haven't already, please do click that subscribe button. It makes me happy and it also helps other people find my channel and these messages. Um, let's see. The readings will come out a little slowly over the next couple weeks. Um, actually, just really missed doing these, even though I have a very full schedule today, so I'm up a little early to get some in, uh, just because I enjoy it. I enjoy this connection with the universe, uh, the connection with the tarot. It's, it renews me. So. Um, all right. Oh, good. We've got some. All right. Oh, this is so funny. Scorpio just got that card. That's cool. I really like that. We've got some tough energies here, but, um, and there will be a different interpretation based on the other cards, but it is pretty cool. Uh, the great gathering. Oh my gosh. Scorpio just got a very similar card, but not, not exactly. They got calling in your tribe. You are getting the great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits, another soul tribe um, card here. So it's all coming together. This this is really interesting, especially in COVID times, that we would get these two cards and these two messages about bringing people together. Um, you know, probably not in person, but maybe so. This could be one or more people. Wouldn't that be funny if you guys got a bunch of the same cards about the same thing? It would be funny for me. I don't know if you care, but this is about Sagittarius. We've moved on to Sagittarius, but that Scorpio energy still seems to be here. Um, so it's all coming together. Intuitive hit soul tribe. So uh, meeting people, um, I almost get a networking vibe off of this one of just like making friends with people in your industry. That's all networking is. Making friends with people in your industry, um, meeting people that, um, that, that can help you, um, on your path and you can help them. Um, yeah, people coming into your life that are here to help move you forward. Um, maybe mentors coming in to help you with the next level, but something coming together, having to do with other people in your life. And then I love this one, the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So this is gonna, this feels like this relates to these other more difficult energies. When we get difficult energies, um, it's happening for you, not to you. So you are, there's some difficult, this is all about there, there is difficulty. You're safe within the difficulty. Um, things are unfolding. So this moment may not be your perfect, happiest, best favorite moment of your whole life, but it's, it's just an ever unfolding rose. There's always more, there's always more coming. This is a moment. This is one petal on a, on a much larger picture here. I'm, I'm unfolding and unfolding. I'm ever unfolding. I'm apparently going to do this throughout your entire reading. Um, keeping your heart open, even through difficulty, keeping an open mind, even through difficulty and understanding this is a moment, not forever. This is, uh, an hour, a week of your life, not the whole thing, right? So um, everything is going to be okay is the underlying message here. Um, you know, it's, things are still unfolding. Things are still happening. Uh, this might be painful. This might be difficult. This might be like like a yoga stretch that takes you a little far, but in the end it's, it's great. But for a moment, whoo, we in that moment, that can be really hard. So it's just... Um, it's just, I'm speaking of which resistance, because yoga is always working with that resistance, um, of our inner resistance to the poses and our stretching. So I just feel like you're going to be a, a little bit stretched this week. Um, but I like, it's all coming together and the other unfolding rows. I like the push pull here. We've got push pull here on resistance too. We've got things coming together and we've got an unfolding rose. It's very beautiful. So, uh, even though it's difficult, it's all part of some larger process. This reminds me of when you like want something and you ask the universe for it, but the path of you getting it takes you to some unusual places where you weren't quite, um, okay, like, you know, you want to go for a hike, but you know, there's like some really difficult passages to get to that peak you want to go to. 
So you wanted to go to the peak. So here's here's some of the difficult little issues uh, you can you might be facing this week. So not to be discouraging, but if if there's some difficulty this week, just know it's going to be okay. It's part of some larger process and something that you do want and something that you do want to happen. And some things are coming together, but this is just a little bit of a rough patch in that holes things coming together. So resistance. So yeah, I mean, you can, you're, you're going to find your way through. This card is about finding your way through, through the path of least resistance. Just, you don't have to hit things head on. You don't have to, you can, you can find a way, um, a way to, to deal with the situation. That's maybe not a direct, um, confrontational hit on it, uh, but finding your way through a headwind. So yeah, you're going to have some headwinds this week, um, or in this time period, whenever you're watching this. So, but you're finding your way through, you're moving forward through it. Um, uh, you are going to, you're going to make it, um, but it is, there will be some difficulty. You will be stretched. Uh, remember it is happening for you, not to you. It's part of some larger, uh, dream you have or, or wish that you have or something you're like you want to have in your life but there will be resistance this week um, and then we have self-interest uh, this card's interesting to me because it's about that uh, tension between um, taking care of ourselves and making sure we leave enough for other people making sure other people don't take from us and don't take too much out of our life so we could have some selfishness at play here um, having some difficulty dealing with yours or someone else's um, someone may be you may not have time for yourself this week this may be part of a flow I'm kind of seeing a six of Pentacles here where where we're talking about the flow of resources time money energy uh, it may not be your turn this week um, because we're getting this resistance and we're getting this un, ever unfolding rose but but overall we're talking about that tension between that give and take that this might be someone else's moment to receive um, your moment may have already passed or maybe coming in the future uh, so maybe a turn taking thing uh, that looks like someone's getting it all right now um, but isn't um but but overall the overall picture so we're looking at the overall picture of uh nurturing and uh time and attention um it's like when you're a kid and you go to your siblings like uh concert um you know at that moment you're you're the support role and maybe you didn't want to do that or but you know maybe they'll come to your basketball game so there's there's that um there's that give and take so making sure it is a give and take and that someone including yourself isn't just hogging and hoarding all the time and money and resources so but with this ever unfolding rose there could be some diff and resistance there could be some difficulty around that around uh resource disbursement this week um it may not be your favorite um situation uh, it may not be um it's all coming together but there could be some difficulty and that's not to say you don't address it if someone is um hogging the time the money and all that um that's not to say you don't address it it's just it just is to like put it in perspective understand this could be part of an overall flow um if it's chronic and and um and creating too much difficulty for you uh definitely needing to talk about it all right so Sagittarius, hmm. so your past, your present. Oh, <laughs> talking about difficult energies. Holy crap! Um, your inner landscape. What's at issue? Your environment, your to-do list, and your possible outcome. I've got a lot of difficult energies showing up here too. Sagittarius, fabulous. Um, sorry. Uh, so wow. That's so amazing how it matches the, the difficult energies are yeah showing up in both sets here so um we have the knight of cups here in your recent past there's been some sort of heartfelt connection uh, the knight of cups could be some uh plucking of emotional heartstrings right she's playing a heart guitar uh so but but with this the so i like that I mean I don't like that right there could have been some manipulation here some emotional manipulation with the other difficult energies here it's entirely possible that that's a valid interpretation of the knight of cups right here she is sitting in a lotus blossom so I do feel like we might be talking about some sort of emotional maturity having been achieved here knights are about communication cups are about heart so there's been some sort of at its basic most basic level there's been some sort of heartfelt communication whether that 
grew out of a maturation process um, and um, and yeah, just a, a growth process where someone was finally able to communicate clearly what they needed, what they wanted, what was on their mind, on their heart, um, or whether this was um, a, a manipulation um, there, you know, will will differ. You'll know which one it is. There's a lot of difficult energies here, but but also it almost seems like someone finally spoke up. Someone finally said what they needed, what they wanted. Um, there was some sort of communication here um, about needs and wants and feelings, deep feelings. Um, and sometimes that, that can incidentally feel manipulative, but it might not have been intentionally manipulative or it just was beautiful <laughs> could be a couple different different ways there but it does reference communication it does reference um uh the heart space um being involved there uh in your current situation we have possibly my least favorite card seven of swords this is sneaky behavior talk about self-interest here we have two beings taking something for themselves from others, right? So this is this is a very sneaky behavior. This can be withholding behavior, withholding communication, withholding honesty. She's um, pretending to be flowers. She's a snake, and she's stealing eggs out of out of this. These unsuspecting parents here, whose nest this is, think that this is just a, a beautiful flower here. This is not a beautiful flower. This is someone who's being sneaky, who's lying. Um, you would know who this is. I don't want to be alarming. This could be you feeling the need to do this, whether legitimately or not legitimately feeling a need to hold your cards closer to your chest to be a little bit withdrawn to um, take care of your needs right does this snake not need to eat i don't get it like is she what else is she supposed to eat right she's got to eat so <clears throat> there is a competition of interests here someone may not be being what they seem um they may not be what they seem they may not be um uh, being honest about it they may be withholding information uh, this is to, this is, um, you know, people just uh, being self-interest, right? Both of these parties have some sort of self-interest here. Um, this is, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't want to deal with this individual, but at the same time, we can understand where this individual might feel like they're entitled to food. They're entitled to your babies though like mm, that might be a little too far so this this could be going too far with the self-interest here this is definitely going too far with self-interest this is someone who's stealing thieving their self-interest has clouded their judgment and their morals and their ethics uh because we also are going to end up with reverse justice so there's something so that's making the seven of swords look even like a worse energy so this isn't going to be a reading for everybody uh, I wish these seven of swords, I wish it wouldn't show up in general readings, honestly, because it's just like, this is a warning to, to a few people that are dealing with something. You probably already are well aware that someone here is being very selfish and self-interested. You might be the one who's being selfish and stealing and thieving, um, but justifying it with like, well, I got to eat too. Um, but, uh, but not really thinking about the full ramifications of how we do what we do. This justice card shows up later in this reading. So it's about like how, why, how we make, how we get to where we're going, that the ends don't justify the means that you still have to, just cause you want something doesn't mean it, it means that you can go for it in any way possible, screwing over every possible person that you can to get what you want, right? But there's somebody here that's doing that, whether that's you or somebody else. I don't know. I mean, you'll know, I would hope you would know if you're justifying bad behavior um, by saying, well, I have my needs too. Well, yeah, we all have our needs, but there's some sort of balance that this is really out of balance. And the seven of swords and the self-interest card coming out in the same reading is very clear that um, that there's some sort of um, greediness that's, um, I want to say immoral or, or out of control or uh, not keeping the, the, not, not even realizing that you're part of a community. Oh yeah. I just watched, um, pretend it's a city by Fran with Fran Lebowitz on Netflix. And I really loved, she's like, there are other people that live here. Hello. It's a city. 
pretend other people live here. It's not just for you. It's not just about you. And uh, that's what the seven of swords and the self interest pretend there are other people on this planet that also have needs. It's not just about you or about whatever person you're dealing with that feels that it is just about them. Then in your inner landscape, we have the lovers card here. This is a choice. Um, this is a choice. I think you're being presented with a choice. Are you going to move towards something that you, I mean, obviously this is your inner landscape. So you're being presented with a choice, a decision. Are you going to move out of love or are you going to move out of fear? Are you going to move towards what you want or are you going to run fleeing from your possible negative outcomes? This is about, you know, how we move through life. And we've got this reverse justice card too. So this is also about how we move through life. This is about what motivates you. Are you motivated by fear or are you motivated by love? This seven of swords character, fear, fear, fear. These both exude fear. This is, I, I have to eat. I have to eat. There's no other way. There's, I have no choice. I have to steal this because I have to eat. I'm terrified of life without this other person's basket of eggs. I don't want to, I, I don't know how else I'm going to eat like Cause I can't, I can't figure out how to do it any other way. Right. And this is the same thing. Well, I, I don't know if you're going to share with me, so I've got to take everything here. I don't know if you, I don't think that you, I'm so, so these two cards are people, individuals that are living in a fear state um, and, and are reacting and, and developing and have, have bad coping strategies for that fear. Um, they, they, they run on fear of, and scarcity, scarcity and fear. There's not enough. There's not enough for all of us. So I have to steal. I have to take, uh, so this is sort of a choice that you're being presented to how you, this might be, how do you want to respond to this? Are you going to respond in love? Or are you going to respond in fear? Are you going to respond in confidence that you can handle this? Or are you going to respond in insecurity, um, that this person might be you know, this person might be stealing from you. So you, you've got to figure out how to, how, what, how are you going to deal with that? How are, you know, don't take too much of a high road so that you fall off the cliff, but like, how are you going to do that? How, what, what, how are you going to respond to this? Are you um, going to respond in fear or are you going to respond in love? What's going to motivate you here in this situation? And then we have this justice card. Justice always brings up the topic of how we get where we're going um, there is, um, the morals, the ethics, the, um, how we, how we get there is just as important in this justice card as to where we're going is how we get there. Uh, so there's reverse, there's justice in reverse is unfairness, imbalance, dishonesty. Um, all of these things that these excuses people make for, we all make for, uh, getting what we want out of a situation and getting our needs met. There's some excuses that go on of, of how we're going to do that. And that it's okay because I have to eat too. It's okay because I deserve success as well. Um, so th there's just like a lot of bad behavior being discussed here in this reading. So this is about bad behavior. How are you getting where you, where you want to go? So there's dishonesty here and that's what's at issue. You probably already know about it. There's like 400 cards here about dishonesty, resistance, difficulty, um, having to make choices about how we move forward. We're responsible for our behavior. Um, this doesn't mean we get to be a doormat, right? We get to, we get to, to defend ourselves and we get to, you know, these eggs, these are our responsibility to protect. We get to protect our eggs. We get to protect our, uh, you know, we had a, we have a responsibility to bring those eggs to life. Um, and, uh, and so we, we get to do that, right? So, so they're the, this, the, these birds, their job is to protect their nest. They're being fooled right now, but their job is to protect the nest. Really don't want anyone to feel paranoid or weird. I think this is only relating to people that have like a situation where they're, where they know it and it's either you doing it or, you know, someone is doing it. Um, but if you don't know, don't, don't shoehorn your life into this and decide people that love you and care about you are actually lying to you and you can't trust them. Right. So looking at evidence and looking at past behaviors and stuff like that to, to see if this is a reading for you or not. So, um, justice card in reverse, something's very unfair. There's some injustice here, lying imbalance, uh, karma, not coming in. Karma is not biting somebody in the ass and you've been waiting for it. Um, and here we have someone in your environment, this is a person, male or female. This is called Queen of Swords, but it's a male or female. This is someone who's just very focused on what they want and what they need. I suspect it's the same person here. Very focused on what they want, on what they need. Um, this person, you know, they can be a little brusque. They can be a little um, 
they're just very very direct with what they say uh, they can be a little bitchy with these other cards here I'm gonna say we're probably dealing with someone like that but they are very focused on what they want and on their truth on their justifications on their understanding they're not even gonna see that the you know if this is the person being selfish with self-interest they're probably not even aware of that because they're just so incredibly focused on what they want on their vision on what they see um, and they can be a little bit blunt and a, although we have all this other sneaky behavior but they can also be a, this person could be a little bit blunt so there's someone in your environment who's just very focused on what they think they're not really looking out for other people looking out for um, for you know the overall vision the overall idea here your to-do list the energy you're looking to engage with your opportunity for growth is uh, five of wands this is strategic um, playing chess not checkers uh, this is getting this is in this could be internal conflict this is engaging in open conflict right now we've got sneaky conflict and this is start talking about it you may if especially if this is passive aggressive behavior which this queen of swords could easily be very passive aggressive also this knight of cups could be very passive aggressive too um, manipulative and passive aggressive very focused on what they want um, this five of wands here is um, strategic uh, conflict engaging in conflict this is not um, a battle this is not a, a bloody conflict this is just understanding that you know each piece on the chessboard um, moves differently right we our bishops move very differently than our pawns so everybody's got these different I want to say motivations and ways of achieving their goal so you're having to deal with somebody else who's achieving a goal in a way that maybe you don't even understand and you don't suspect and it's not a way that you go about achieving your goals so you know you move um, you're especially the, the knight <laughs> I think this 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 knight you know we've got this chessboard here let's talk about the knight the knight moves um you know kind of sideways and then forward and sideways it's it feels very erratic you know it's one to the one to the side and two four I can't remember but um it's something like that so um so this 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 knight moves very differently than um than you do with um you know you could be more more direct in how you move and somebody here moves more like sideways and 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 in a, in a very different way so this five of wands is understanding that everybody moves in a different way everybody has different motivations everybody has different ways of of trying to achieve their goals it's their way it's who they are it's not um, you know in the, the chess pieces they, they don't get to choose which way they're gonna move on this turn which way they're gonna move it's just ingrained on who they are so there's some conflict here with just how different people move through life and how different people achieve their goals so with this five of wands it is about talking about it open openly uh, discussing motivations discussing it's coming under this five of sorts this is sneaky quiet lies this is um, addressing the passive aggressive behavior addressing the way someone else is moving and making decisions and addressing that and actually like um, yeah looking at it talking about it bringing it out into the open openly understanding uh, motivations uh, strategies all the different strategies we all employ um, throughout our lives and then what our you know native strategy what we what we're born with uh, thinking about how to move through life and and how just who we are in our vibe here so this is open conflict five of wands is talking about it bringing it out into the open whatever has been sneaky whatever's been hidden uh, whatever's been manipulative um, bringing it out into the open and discussing it I mean God it is resistance um, this five of wands is about conflict uh, conflicting uh, methodologies I mean chess it's it's war conflict but it's on a board it's a game so so it's it's not life or death but it is like a strategy here so hopefully this isn't like a big ass like uh, conflict that you know is like life-changing hopefully this is some minor thing you know I always think of these readings on a scale of one to ten how big is this reading and it's gonna vary for each of you one of you may be dealing with you know a two here um, and one of you maybe some of you may be dealing with you know nine or ten full-scale life-changing battles here and where you've got 
fortunes are going to change in your future. This is where you're going. Um, luck, your luck's going to change here. Uh, the machinery of life is going to move all by itself eventually. So um, either this person's going to move on, get taken out of your life or the situation, something external uh, that you're not seeing and you're not aware of, it could come in and change the whole situation as well and make it a, a very different situation. So this is all about the inner workings of life, the machinery of life, things that are out of our control uh, moving. And that sounds scary, but it can be to our benefit a lot of times. Um, this could also be revealing, you know, inner revealing some of the, the things that have been going on behind the scenes that have felt very out of your control or felt very random, but they, they might not have been as random as you think. So in some ways, this is a, also wheel of fortune can be unintended consequences. Um, not necessarily, they don't feel very related to what's going on here, but with this justice and reverse card, this, this wheel of fortune could be bringing some justice into the situation, something outside of your control, outside of your realm, bringing something in here. I don't think Think that releases you of the responsibility of talking and bringing something sneaky some sneaky behavior into the open um and talking about it openly um but there is going to be some changes coming into the whole situation uh that you're not in charge of and that you're not expecting um all right so sagittarius that's got to be <laughs> I, on the one hand i love doing these i love connecting with um with you this way and with the universe this way on the other hand this is a rough reading so please don't um if it's not for you, don't shoehorn horn yourself into it, okay? Uh, so anyway, um, be wise, be smart, have a great week.